Okay, I'm back with part two. And while I was rendering part one, I was out shoveling my driveway. Hopefully some of you guys are doing some shoveling um, today. This, by the way, if you're watching this video in the far future, this is March 2nd, the year 2016. And this, my friends, is the fourth snow day that we've had in the last five days of school. So that is a beautiful thing. And I love shoveling my driveway in the middle of the day on a Tuesday or Wednesday. It's a Wednesday, actually. Anyway, <clears throat> I also love working with this Vegas program. It's very fun. It's always helpful when you're doing whatever you're doing, you're having fun with it. So how do you have fun with something? You just pay close attention to what you're doing and it will be funner. It will be more fun. I'm going to give my track a little name. This is my background track. So I'm going to call it background. Cool. And I'm going to show you another little trick. See right now these two guys are, um, are grouped together. This audio track that came in, it's nothing there because it was just a uh, silent track. But I want to get rid of that track. So, But if I delete it, if I click and hit delete, it'll delete both together because they're grouped. So I'm going to ungroup these bad boys. I like the way to do it here. One way you could go up to edit and just click ungroup. That's so old school. Group, uh, remove from. That's going to remove it from the group. But I'm going to do this instead. If you click on this tool right here, ignore event grouping, then temporarily those two things will be separated. So I'm going to separate them, then delete it, and then I can turn that grouping back, um, event grouping back on. So I love that one. All right, so let's go now. And we want to get a video from YouTube that has a green screen background on it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that video on top of the background. So I'll insert a new uh, video track. Get it ready. This is my green screen or chroma key or green screen vid. So I'm going to go out to Vegas. I already did it, of course, because I'm trying to be you know organized. So I went out here. Let me see which one I found. There's the Starfield one. Already got that one. Got that one. Don't need that anymore. There's that another one. There's something else I was watching. Oh my god. I have no idea where I put this thing. I guess I wasn't as uh, organized as I thought. Oh, here it is. Green screen. Oh my god. So I did, look at the search. I did sample green screen video. And then from there I just found one that I thought was kind of cool. I'll show you it. It's just these two eyes. But notice what I want you to look at is notice how the green screen is really, really nice. It's all very, very even. The more even the green screen is, it's all the more it's a single shade, the easier it is to um, remove it. So I'm going to download this bad boy. I will uh, copy this. You can copy this address or you can go down to the share. I think either one will work. Fine. So I'll copy that one, whatever. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to convert another video. Paste it in. Remember, I'm going to choose it to be MP4 HD. Why not? Convert it. It's going to go pretty quick because I already did it once. And uh, at school, I don't know, maybe it goes slower, but we'll, we're patient people. Just to make sure you don't want to pick a video clip that's like five minutes long and then download it because that's, you know, that's a little excessive. We're just experimenting around. And what we can do um, as you get better, you know, you can start to make your own videos and then you film yourself in front of a, it doesn't have to be green, you just want a single color. That's the key. All right, I'm going to um, go ahead and download it. Boop. And then remember, if you're an Internet Explorer, probably a little box popped up down here by my mouse and it probably says something like, do you want to save it or do you want to open it? And um, if I have to tell you what to do now, then I don't know. There's no hope for you. So it's saving and it's down on my green screen. Remember what I did. I'm going to do this one more time in case, because this is just, I don't want you to forget this. I'm going to show my downloads. I'm going to go to the folder. Or if you're an Internet Explorer, maybe you don't have that little option to show downloads. Maybe you come up somewhere up in here. And you go and say, show my downloads. Somehow you want to get to your downloads because it's not easy to find your downloads in Windows 7 by going to the, the old traditional route. So here it is. Green screen animation, you know, I've only downloaded like six times. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it into my H drive or my version of the H drive at my house, which is in my 4 gig. You go to your H drive, advanced web video. Maybe you made a folder like I did. If you were, if you want to plant good seeds for yourself, do things that um, will benefit you in the future. And so now I've got that green screen. Now, remember, if you drag that, you can try it, but if you drag it right into Vegas, it is most 99% chance not going to work. It just doesn't like this new style of MP4. So we have to convert it. Um, so that's what I use this VLC program for, VLC Media, which 
you probably either have a shortcut or you're gonna have to go open up the old-fashioned way but here it is it looks like that it's got that weird cone on it so if you don't have it you're gonna have to tell me I'm gonna install it but this guy will um, he will convert things for us so I'm gonna open the file up and I put it in my H drive or my F drive so I remember where it is chroma key there it is green screen and now I'm gonna do media convert or save it now which I have to select a file first so I'm gonna add a file I probably don't even have to open it first I probably could just come here and say add it so there it is and then I want to um, convert it into a MPEG 2 MPEG 2 that's the old style video um, and um, where I want to put it that's the destination well I think I should put it back in the H drive don't you makes sense yeah chroma key here and I'm gonna call it green and in this case it's eyes green eyes remember you're doing whatever you want you don't have to choose green eyes but why not that's what I'm gonna do and then now it's gonna go ahead and it's working it's working it's working it kinda like takes a minute or more like 30 seconds or less now I'm gonna close that off now it should be done I come back to Vegas Whoop. remember it's not showing up here I'm seeing the I'm seeing the original file that I downloaded but if you drag that one it may cause an error and then your pro, the program errors out and you have to restart it so I'm not even gonna do that instead I'm gonna come back to my folder go to old windows go into the four in the H drive video chroma key and it's it's the green eyes PS file the PS file and I'm gonna drag that out and put it up there boom all right close that off now I'm gonna get rid of that I don't even like this this whole track I'm just gonna right click and delete the whole track I like it better like that because when I brought in that video I brought in an audio track so here we go now I've got these green these eyes that do their little weird thing I'm gonna put them over the top of the star field and I'm gonna increase the length of the star field why do we call a looping background because it doesn't matter it just keeps going it's the same thing over and over again you can't even tell when it when it repeats it's just repeating repeating there's like a little maybe you see a, like a little glitch that's why it's called looping it kind of ends where it ends the next one begins and just keeps going and going so <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to make this green transparent that's the goal here to get rid of that green and if you remember back in your days with fireworks there was that magic wand if you touch the magic wand on a color it would select all of that color then you could erase it it's very similar in Vegas except we're not doing it for just one picture we're doing it for thousands of pictures because if you think about it that's what a video is a video typically most of these videos see right here it says 29.97 that's the frames per second it's like 30 frames per second so for every one second of video there's 30 frames of pictures basically 30 JPEG pictures are gonna be played really fast for each second so 30 seconds 30 times 30 that's 900 so for 30 seconds I have 900 individual JPEGs that have green on them and I want to take all that green out and I do not want to open up 900 files and do that individually so that's why we have voila special effects event FX right here I'm gonna go on to that under the green and there's lots of different ones just play with these someday I saw how I figured this stuff out to tell you the truth I was like what what is this so Sony chroma keyer double click I added it in see it adds it up in here as like a one chain so you can add effect on top of effect you could have a chroma keyer and a black restore and you could add noise and you could glow you could do all sorts of effects all together and they'll, they'll chain out one after another after another I'm just gonna do Sony chroma keyer okay so here's how it works it started with a blue screen actually it's gonna it's looking for the color blue and it's removing it and there are no color blues or even a various shade of blue on there so that's why nothing happened if you click this eyedropper you could try to approximate the green that you see or you could be skillful and touch the green and when you do that boom it takes all of the green out I don't know why it went black for a second but it took all the green as best as it could it took it all out now you can tweak it if sometimes it's like this it just looks like this and you don't realize that you can drag this and open it up and there's three more settings that you can tweak and sometimes the low threshold if you increase that a little bit it'll get even better I don't I can't tell you I'm sure on the video you're watching you can't tell mine it's getting a little bit sharper 
or you could play with a little high threshold. And I have to tell you the truth, I do not know really what this means. I just play with it. It's probably something to do with like how tolerant it is. If it has a really high tolerance, it'll probably um, or high threshold. You know, it'll only like get the, the the green that's very very similar. And maybe the more the threshold, it, it finds um, shades of that green, and you can blur it too. So. You can play with it. If you get a good clip originally that has a very solid, consistent color green all throughout the video, it will come out really nice. That's the key, is to get your original one to be nice. And this was an animation, so the person made the whole thing in the computer, so it's, essentially it's perfect. So now I have eyes in space. Ooh, hoo -hoo. pretty nice, pretty nice. All right. Um, and then I'm going to add some music. All right, you do that. I'm not even going to show you that. Add a little music. Now you've got a green screen video on top of a looping background. And I wanted you to also put in a Vegas or a, um, a, just a still shot, a picture. You know, I'm not even going to do that because it's already 10 minutes and 11 minutes in this video and you guys are losing patience. This is pretty good. You get a video with green. You put it on a looping background. You had to convert it with VLC. You had a lot going on. I'm going to do one more thing just for kicks. I'm going to insert another video track. And I'm going to insert some text media, and I'm going to say, bye, MKR. That's me. And that's so big. I'll make it nice and small. Place it down here in the lower. I'm going to place it right below there. Yeah. And remember, plain white text, not so cool. Put a little outline on it. Maybe not yellow. Yellow and black is just too bright. Maybe blue, little blue. A little outline makes it pop a little bit. It's nice, better. Um, I don't really need to do a shadow because it's on black. You want to add a glow, you do it, whatever you want. So there you go. Now I have it. It's amazing. Put some music on there. I'm not going to show you that part. And then you, um, you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Have fun. Do something that's interesting and creative to you. If it's interesting to you, chances are the rest of the world will agree.